Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to XCOM Chimera Squad. I'm Peter Moxlin, Keeper Emeritus, and last time we had a rooftop mission and we stopped the enemies from getting the blueprints, and honestly, the biggest thing I learned was that plasma grenades blow up, blow up immediately. So suddenly, plasma grenades seem a lot more interesting to me. Also, the city is not doing amazingly. Got two districts at five, two districts at four, anarchies at five. We can deal with it. It's just not perfect. What's our cooldowns looking like? Four turns on anarchy cooldown. Okay. We're not on emergency yet. We're not on like a critical mission. But once we, but once this is critical, then we're going to reduce that. So reducing this is preferable then. We get one anarchy no matter what, as long as there's a district at five. I'd say it's still worth to reduce this though, because there's nothing because there's nothing bumping it back up to five here, and that'll get this ability back on cooldown. So sure, there's that. You would go to to two, and we only have the situation. Okay, so we're gonna get forty-five Illyrium, one anarchy. Then this is gonna go. Then this is gonna go critical. That's basically how it's gonna work. Okay. Well, since now that I know that grenades are actually high, right, all right, the uh, android, mech, whatever parts. Okay, so do I have plasma grenades or no? Not directly. Disorient units in a large area. Mobility and armor. Hmm. Put, uh, putting that on someone to go send it to Ch to Cherub would be good. I'm kind of thinking that Cherub's going to get phased out as we get Patchwork up, though, because the Assault Rifle just does more damage. Even though Cherub Full Power Charge Bash is absurd. Tempor temporarily immune to negative mind effects. Okay. Okay, the ceasefire grenade, I think, is the breach item. So that or it's the ceasefire bomb. Ah, uh, ah, uh, the bomb is the breach item, so the grenade is the non-breach item. I'm willing to probably get one of those. We have so many credits at the moment that I can afford to get some stuff. Okay, yeah, so bombs are breach items. Grenades are not. Got it. If we had, like, the upgraded version of stuff here, like, we could get the advanced scope or something, then maybe it'd be worth it, but not really as is. And you... Uh, yep, grenade, good. Want to stay above, like, 200. No, sure. Plus 30 dodge. Look at the medikit. If this takes the same slot as a grenade, then that's a reasonable thing. Uh, you know, I'll get one medikit and I'll see what happens if I put it on patchwork then. Trank rounds, maybe? I, now that, or not. Right, I, I always forget about that. Tracer costs a lot more, even though it gives plus five aim and nothing else as best I can tell. Yeah, back to the shooter. Bonus aim when equipped, and I think that the effect is just that. Okay. I could get more Trank, but realistically I have it on two people, and we don't need to make every enemy unconscious, so whatever. The credits are actually weirdly in a good spot at the moment. I'm trying to train Patchwork up. You three are all max level. So I can do this. Oh no, that's uh, a free reload action. Oh, okay. Mobility by one, dodge by 15. No, oh, sure, let's check out what the others have. Not have anything because you're too low level, so probably the same for you. Basic conditioning, sure. This is what I was thinking of. Because we can do the star initiative for plus 20% XP. 
question is whether I really want to do this or not. Because if we're about to have Sacred Coil Part 2, I is it Sacred Coil? I think it is. Then having Godmother available to switch in might not be the worst idea. So you're the obvious one for this, so go ahead. And I guess that if we want to keep Godmother available for a moment so that we don't uh, have her working while we get the primary mission there, let's put you there for Illyrium Sting, because Illyrium's the only thing that we are at all worried about at this exact moment. Granted, 65 intel, we can spend pretty much infinite intel. Like, we can spend easily 70, quite possibly upwards of 200 intel on a single scavenger market, and then upgrading all of our various field teams is then solid. So we have four days left here. What are we going for next? We're currently getting Mastercrafted Armor, so that's going to be probably a 250-ish credit sink right there. After that, maybe go for this just so that we can get whatever it connects to. And that doesn't cost Illyrium. There is a reasonable argument for me getting the, the machine guns up just so that I can use SMGs and not have them feel like I'm just shooting a nerf gun. <laughs> Um, gas grenade. Okay, we previously found out that bomb is the breach item, grenade is the non-breach item. In general, this is poison damage, though, and I don't really care that much about that. Now that I have a med kit, maybe upgrading it to nano med is good. Advanced androids and expert field teams don't really care about, so probably med kit then, and that's two cost. Or sorry, that's two days, zero Illyrium cost. So sure, let's go ahead and put you in here with legwork for 65 intel. Now. Okay, then let's go ahead and get 45 Illyrium out of this. Did I say 65 Illyrium? I meant 65 intel. Whatever. Nothing else, so go ahead. Anarchy to 6. Oh. First of all, uh, we got our... here are worse than in training. We can fix the place up. I have some ideas. No hammocks. Never again. That was your own fault. That pipe wasn't load-bearing. You said hang it anyway. I am not having this conversation. Yeah, uh, payday. So we got 40 credits, 85 intel, 20 Illyrium. I'm surprised. What the fuck? Oh, duck. I was trying to figure out for a moment, why the hell are you not red? Right, I reduced your unrest. That's why. <laughs> okay, the game is being kind to us and not putting a mission on any of our high unrest areas. I still think that we're about to get critical very quickly, though. Scavenger market open. Good. So we're going to go from 6 to 7 anarchy, but then we're going to do the mission. That's going to get our... That's going to make us stop getting anarchy. Not gonna lie, the Spec Ops Anarchy down might be a solid option then, because clearing an entire faction is minus three Anarchy. So we can do the Spec Op and that, and we'll still be at like one Anarchy. So just maybe that kind of wastes, wastes some time in terms of resource gathering, but I think that it's worth. And, it, and, it, and that should be something we, can, we might be able to do with Patchwork even. Uh, let me check actually. Ooh, reduced unrest in all districts. That's actually quite solid. Requires one or more security field teams at rank two. We have that. Okay. I wish I'd thought about that before. Special agent. Which rank is special agent, actually? Uh, armory. You. Abilities. Okay, so special agent is rank three. So we still only have our base uh, squad then. We're working on getting patchwork up there. We need one more level up to unlock that. And the one I was thinking of was this, but that takes five time. As does that. Ugh. Yeah, five days as opposed to three, so we don't get quite as much resource gain, but it makes it that the anarchy go to, goes down by three, which, you know... Not losing the game is a good idea for how to keep the game going. Okay, scavenger market. Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, scavenger market, what you got for me? No extremely good items. 
or no, like, uh, unique guns. Superior scope. That is a solid option. Subdue damage by two. I really don't subdue very much at this point, so honestly, probably no. Advanced auto loader. I have at least one or two of those. If it was superior, then it'd be probably an instant buy. Superior scope. There's an argument to be made there, but given that we have two, given that we have 290 intel, I actually want to try to up our field teams more. I think that increasing to a bunch of level two field teams is going to be more useful than upping, uh, say, Verge from plus 10 to plus 15 aim. Missing shots has not been a significant issue recently. Granted, staying on top, that might be for the best, but let's see. Can we tell what's level one and level two? Upgraded one. Probably anything that has this, like this is filled in. Game, please tell me which is a rank two. Oh, wait, wait, it says it here. Duh. Okay, this is our rank two then. Okay, so it's going to cost the same basically no matter what. What happens if I try to do this? Upgrading to rank three requires the expert field team assemblies project. Like, expert field team's assembly project. Okay. So getting security up would get us more intel. We have four security, five securities, and it cost 120, was it? 110, 120, so it costs a little bit more for the upgrade version. 110, then goes to like 130 or something. We should be able to get two of these up to rank two then. And you know what? I'd say that's good enough. And specifically doing that where we are getting... Some high on rest seems like a good idea. And 55 is not enough for any of the non securities because that requires 80. So we're probably just going to stick it out there for now. We want to freeze on rest. We could freeze on rest here, but I don't think that matters because matters it's not actually increasing. It's staying at 5 and increasing anarchy. So that's basically whichever of these we don't do freeze that one, probably. The other option is to hold our freeze until one of these two is about to go up, or we else be any of these four, actually. Oh, God. Uh, you know, that that's a solid option, actually. Uh. Okay. We could get 95 intel, or 50 Illyria. This is the only uh, field team ability that we don't have yet, and honestly, I don't care that much. I'm sure that the actual rewards are, like, double rewards or something, so instead of 70 intel, 140 or something like that. We literally cannot get this yet because we don't have the, the tech for it, because it's, uh, this project. Realistically, though, we have enough Illyrium for our next project. We got some time until that happens anyway. So probably just go ahead and do the intel one so we can get more intel. Three on that, three on that. Can't do anything about that, or can use this, but not particularly for a useful thing. Yeah, I think we just got our mission. Okay. 31 PD received a credible bomb threat involving a plasma-based device. They requested we neutralize the, this threat to City 31. Get 95 intel. Go ahead. Never mind, never mind me. Do we have another? No, we don't have a uh, second special pistol. If I do this, we have flashbang and medikit. In that case, over to you. Take off plasma. Yes. Take off plasma to give you the medkit so your gremlin can use it. Can you not use the plasma grenade? Oh, it might just be second slot only. Okay, sure. Uh... I might have just missed what I did there for a moment. I thought I thought I took the plasma grenade off. Okay, so I have one Trank. You know, he takes down enough people, but sure. Trank rounds on you. Okay, 
Oh, you can only have one grenade, huh? Flashbang, I guess. I'm not totally sure, actually. Okay, all but one item slot filled out, and that's kind of because the stuff overlaps. We have a wall and a door. Projected encounter one, very difficult. So having the uh, breach, the... Let me fall again. Breaching charge. Yeah. Having that is good. You have meta patch and meta kit. Yep, you are our healer. Good. Do I want to trade out any items or weapons or anything? Do I want to trade out Cherub or Godmother, actually? Uh... How do I do that? Um, <laughs> there we go. I'm willing to give this a shot. Items available. Lonely Herald gets you run and gun. Reflex. Pay your stock for guaranteed three damage. I guess I'll make Ventilate guaranteed nine damage then. Wait, get, but, 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 Ventilate is guaranteed to hit anyway. Right, trigger. You know what? No, Superior Stock. I like getting guaranteed damage. Adrenal Weave, sure. Reaching Charge, because Cherub doesn't need to be the one that has that. And we have two Ceasefire Grenades, so I can only put one. I could take you off Med. What happens if I take you off Medikit? Oh, nope, then the Plasma goes away. You know what? You take Plasma. Ceasefire and Medikit. Sure, sure. I like putting damage on Godmother. Okay, so we still have Patchwork training up. Everyone else is max level. And we got some serious damage coming out of this too. Okay, I actually like that. Let's go. Operation Desperate Mask. Let's go. Got that? Good. Uh, door, but not keypad door. Yeah, I think we're good as, as is. Let's go. Oop. Oop. Target device is active. Stop it as soon as you're able. Guaranteed to land their shot. Not what I meant. Oh, everyone is going to be surprised, okay. Let's go ahead, you. 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 Combat scanner. Ceasefire. What happens if I reverse you? Can I... Not about, not about a breach. Okay. In that case, target analyzer for the plus 50 crit. And we don't have a third one, so we literally can't put you on second slot for anything. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go. We're going in. Ready for breach? Throwing grenade. Okay, so we have that. We have four enemies currently. Mech will not die in one at the moment. I want to take the 65. I say the 86 is plenty. That's still alive. Oh, god damn it, it is. Go for the 100 here. Take out the aggressive enemies. Turrets are not known for their good aim. Alpha. I should probably take out the turret. Uh, Blue Blood has a pistol. I can, I can rely on him, I think. Go ahead for the 95 here. That's fair. 89, we can't um, make it unconscious, so just... Oof. Still 89, okay. Sure. Okay, there should be no, there should be no aggressive enemies. Like two or three remaining, I think. You and you. Target spotted. Yeah, there Turn we go. It off. A little bit more than expected, but fine. There's, there's 
you. There's you. Does this chain anyone? That looks like it chains. And you're the only one who does not have a reflex or equivalent. Okay, okay. Go for the big combo then. Wait. I think Blue Blood's the one with Modal Inducer. I'm really hoping I'm right about that. So I'm blue. Okay, so we're expecting that to chain. Okay, now that we have now that we're able to shoot you first, that is less of a concern. Wheel and turn. Okay, good to know. We'll be chaining Jolt here. This should do a lot of damage to the mech, and it looks like it does hit this guy. It's not perfect, but I think that's helpful, especially since especially since Blue Blood has face off. Blowing some fuses. Something done. Not as much as I hoped for, but okay. Portal inducer. I guess we're doing this to Godmother then. Immediately gains bonus crit and dodge, taking an additional turn in three turns. How does that even work? <laughs> you know what, sure. Over time. You could run and gun to like over here or something. You have a reflex grip, so you can still shoot twice currently. Because we have blue blood coming up, I say start here. Go for a shot. Good. And we can only ventilate as our first action, apparently. Okay, noted. I thought we were going to be able to shoot, but I guess not. In that case, let's go ahead and do this to get rid of your cover. And that doesn't blow up the thing we need to interact with, so that's good. Throwing plasma. Solid. And there's our alpha strike action. I always forget about that. Game that is not 7 HP. Running gun. Moving and shooting. I don't think there's any orientation here where we can hit two of them with scatter shot. Moving. This is just to get closer. Or. Oh. Hi. Sure. Okay, got stock damage. Go for a shot here. I'll take it. Cool. Okay, those are the two that you can see, so let's go for face off on two of them. Reasonably likely to get the kill. Spread the leg. Good. Did you see that? Okay, one enemy, four shots. I think we got this. Hello. Goodbye. Hostile pacifier. You're the best. And end mission. It required some thinking, but that worked. The plasma grenade being an instant uh, detonation is part of what helped with that, because it made a fairly annoying enemy have no cover and be like, 
half dead when we took our technically first shot. Device destroyed. The device was as powerful as reported if it had detonated. Or if it had detonated, the district would have suffered significant casualties. A lawless mission, and we captured exactly five, so we got the intel. Anarchy to 7, Unrest in Old Town 2, 95 intel, and plus 20 extra intel from the enemies. Claymore has completed training, basic conditioning. From the archives, stay out of Bugtown, a local's guide to City 31. The square was once full of shops selling the kinds of things that don't matter anymore. I haven't converted it to housing during the occupation, but the city council decided to put a modern spin on an old idea. Check it out if you need old world memorabilia, sectoid kibble, and five kinds of pants on short notice. Critical mission. Hey, can I get a comm check? Whisper. You checked comms 20 minutes ago. It's a daily task. I know, but I wanted to get ahead. Fine. Check, check. One, two, check. Can you hear me? Affirmative. Proper comm discipline requires a loud and clear. We're done here. Uh, sure, that can work. Let's pick this up tomorrow. Yeah. Anyway, that's it for the mission, and that's the episode. So... If this video hasn't ruined your life, then go ahead and do without YouTube stuff for a million times. I hope you have a wonderful I hope you have a wonderful end of your day. And I hope to see you in the next one where we will take on Sacred Coil Part 2. You know, the mission that made me fail the first campaign. Because I couldn't kill enemies fast enough. Notice how I wasn't killing those enemies as fast as I used to? I am scared. <laughs> I'll come back tomorrow to figure out if I absolutely mess it up. I'm not expecting it to be a full campaign ender this time. Uh, it might be a bit tricky, though. We'll see what happens. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye.